The next travel wallet that I want to show you is this Lewis and Clark hidden travel wallet. It's got one main pocket with an interior mesh divider and these fabric loops to attach to your belt. Coming up. Welcome to One Bag Travels. This is a channel dedicated to helping you with one bag carry on travel by providing backpack gear reviews and travel advice. If you're a one bag traveler and you want to learn more, then please consider subscribing to our channel. Starting with the materials on the Lewis and Clark hidden travel wallet. The front is constructed from the soft ripstop nylon fabric and there's a softer breathable mesh fabric on the inside back where the wallet will be touching your leg. The top of the wallet has two fabric loops to attach to your belt. There's one brown and one black one, and you use the one depending on the color of your belt. It's a slightly stretchy loop fabric, and basically it's the same as a thick shoelace material. These loops are attached solidly to the pouch with several lines of double stitching. There's only one zipper on this travel wallet. There's a front-facing, generic Lewis & Clark branded zipper. It has a flat lay zipper pull, and it hides in this little fabric flap that's called a zipper garage, which prevents it from opening on its own. The dimensions on the Lewis & Clark hidden travel wallet are five inches wide and seven inches tall. It's slightly larger than the size of a passport. On the inside zipper is a thin mesh divider pocket with two further pockets that you can use to store cash or credit cards. Now I'll show you how to carry the Lewis & Clark Hidden Travel Wallet. It's designed to be worn under your pants with this nylon loop going through your belt. There are two loops, one brown and one black, depending on the color of your belt, or you can always just use them both. Ideally, this wallet is designed to hold a passport and a backup credit card and maybe some cash. It's not designed to be your main wallet. It conceals great when it's under your pants, but it's awkward to access in public. And it will be obvious, removing any benefit of having a hidden travel wallet. There are two places that you can carry this wallet depending on your preference. One is on the front of your hip, underneath your main pant pocket. This is going to be the least visible location but you risk bending your passport when you sit down. You can also carry it on the side of your hip. It's a little bit more comfortable, but depending on the material of your pants, it can be a little bit more obvious. It is possible to wear this travel wallet in your front pocket, but the loops are kind of short and it's probably gonna be visible unless it's covered by your shirt. In summary, some of the things I like about this travel wallet are the slim minimalist design. I like the front facing zippers with this zipper garage. It's a low profile travel wallet and the zipper is unlikely to come undone on its own. Some of the things I don't like about this travel wallet are the RFID fabric. I don't think RFID is really necessary. It's kind of gimmicky and it adds unnecessary weight. The fabric loops on the top are totally solid, but they could be a little bit longer. I hope you enjoyed this quick review. If you have any questions about the Lewis & Clark Hidden Travel Wallet, please let me know in the comments below. And stay tuned for next week, I'll be looking at the Eagle Creek Travel Wallet. And again, thanks for watching.